LeBron James is one of the greatest players to ever set foot on a basketball court. Over the course of his career, LeBron James has won four championships with three different teams. There's no doubt that he's viewed as a franchise legend by fans of multiple teams. While LeBron James is a proven winner, there's no doubt that having him on the roster often forces teams to make win-now moves that sacrifice their future. It's a pattern, and the Lakers are paying for it. LeBron James and the Lakers are officially out of 10th place in the Western Conference, putting them outside of the playoff picture, which has raised questions about the Lakers' future. As ESPN analyst Brian Whithurst revealed that he has seen a pattern in LeBron's career that seems to be playing out again with the Lakers. LeBron's career operates in four-year increments. He wears his team out. I call it organizational fatigue, Whithurst said. It happened the first time in Cleveland. They ran out of draft picks. They had a bunch of guys in their mid-30s, Shaq, close to the finish line, and Antoine Jameson. He then goes to Miami. Four years, great run. They ran out of draft picks. In this last game, three guys retired after that game. He goes to Cleveland. Four years, great run. They run out of draft picks. They get old guys. Here we are in LA, fourth year, the oldest team we've seen in NBA history. They're out of draft picks and they're exhausted. There is no doubt that when one has a superstar like LeBron James on the roster, some win-now moves have to be made. However, sometimes win-now moves don't end up working out for the team long-term and sometimes even short-term. For example, the move for Russell Westbrook has clearly not had the desired effect, for example. Some have even said it can go down as the worst trade in Lakers history. The point about his team being old at the end of the four-year increment is accurate as well, and we can see that the Lakers have a lot of older veterans on the squad currently. This is a troubling trend for the Lakers, and to make matters worse, we don't have a frame of reference for what to expect for year five with LeBron. We do know that each of LeBron's past teams have gone into a steep decline after he left. However, it's unclear if LeBron will leave the Lakers after this season. LeBron is under contract for another year and the Lakers likely won't want to trade him after investing so heavily in winning right now. What seems more likely is that they'll use that 2027 pick they refused to trade this season in order to move Russell Westbrook for a player who better fits the team's needs. We also haven't seen a team led by LeBron struggle like this from the start since his early years in the NBA. The Heat made it to the NBA Finals each year with LeBron. The Cavs made it to the Finals each year for LeBron's second stint. The Lakers team has already missed the playoffs once, been eliminated in the first round, and most likely will miss the playoffs again this season. We don't know what the future holds for this Lakers team, but LeBron James' history tells us it might not be anything good.